How's it going guys? Our journey continues to try to make the comeback on NASCAR Thunder 2004. This is going to be uh, just a very, very tough challenge because we're going to a very tough track now in New Hampshire. Now, I don't quite remember how we're going to do it in New Hampshire. We haven't raced in New Hampshire in a while. The last time we raced in New Hampshire was the mid part of season two. So it's been a while. We're going to have a much better car. Um, we're 192 points behind Dale Earnhardt Jr. We have to just try and, you know, keep winning races and doing it that way. Obviously, we're still not going to qualify. That's just, you know, the, the way it's going to be. So we're going to have to figure out ways to win races. New Hampshire is a very tough track to make passes. That's my big worry here. If I could get the car turning in the center of the cor corner, I, I, I won't be, honestly, that surprised. Um, the the sponsorships, you guys are pretty clear. Uh, the, the, the secondary one, you guys said just go with whatever was the highest income because you're not necessarily going to, you know, do it. So whatever's the highest income and i don't even know honestly why um well i, I do know it's the, the the expectation qualifying first place um but it's just so much higher income compared to everything else so white tails will be on the back of the car the associates it was uh forty thousand per race for white tails ranked 10th in points forty one thousand per race for, for rank 10th in earnings and fissure head of rusty wallace was the 54,000, per race. Now, uh, this one was actually very, you know, decisive, spread out. What's the word? Debatable. Because Rusty Wallace could finish, you know, second. It doesn't usually happen, but it can. And these two are guarantees. Whitetails and, and, and Goodyear are literal guarantees. Um, but you guys wanted a little bit extra money, so you went with Goodyear Blimp. So that is what I will try to do. And I think that's the same thing we had. Is that the same one we had for the associate? I think so. Um, for the team, it was Goodyear, Goodyear Blimp, and MBNA. It's, you know, all basically it was Goodyear or Goodyear Blimp. So we're going to go ahead and put Goodyear on the car. Um, and for the driver, it was Goodyear Blimp because it paid the most money. So uh, obviously we're going to put that on the car as well. So it is a mostly Goodyear car with you know goodyear in the front goodyear as associate goodyear as the team goodyear as the driver but uh white tails because it just offered so much more of an income per race now we might lose this one i'm not gonna lie this one we might lose because obviously we're not gonna be qualifying so they could just eliminate the contract uh after four five six races once they realize we're never qualifying in first so we'll see how that goes we have uh 3.3 million dollars in the bank um, let's go to the garage. We can build a new chassis uh, in the shop edition right now. We can also work on something here, but it's just going to take up so much money. I would love to work on a new chassis. I really, really would. But you're telling me if I want it available in 12 races, it's going to cost $9 million. It's it's not going to happen. That's just something we're not going to be able to do. Body drafting, we could do this, but the drafting is so irrelevant. It's not necessarily needed. So might as well just save the $900,000 as well. And plus six races time. And then you have to build another uh, body. By the time we complete all this, it's going to be the end of the season. So I think for the shop editions, it's basically done. Like we can't really do much. Maybe just maybe engine efficiency before the end of the season. But again, it's probably not going to be that. So let's look at the chassis. And we're probably going to go ahead and try and sell one to build another. Um and we, we're going to go ahead and sell chassis number 11 for $313,000. Uh, we'll come back here in a second. I know there's a lot to do, so bear with me here for a second. Um, engine number nine, we're also going to go ahead and yeah, no, we'll keep it for now. Um, we will go ahead and repair uh, this engine for two races time to get that ready to go for the next race. And then for the bodies, we're still building one. So we're gonna go ahead and overhaul or repair one of them. 8172 for that one. That one gets to an 83 and this one gets to an 81. This body that's being built is gonna be an 84. So let's go ahead and overhaul uh, this one right here for $660,000. And that is gonna be one we use uh, in two races time. It's gonna keep we're gonna sell body number nine but we're not gonna do that at the moment uh i still need to do something with the chassis we have to build a new chassis uh, let's go with i think 82 and 81 will get us through for now i want something really good for the end of the season because i know we could struggle towards that part of the the, the season so we're on race 19 right now if we build a chassis for nine races time that will take us to around race 28. We will still have 
seven, eight races to use that chassis, and I think that's going to be very, very important. I think just getting something to an 84 is not going to be enough. So we're going to put $546,000 into an 87 tire grip, 82 tire wear chassis. And that's going to be the chassis that we use at the end of the season at tracks that we might struggle at. You know, uh, I think Atlanta's uh, at the end of the season. Uh, the Rock is, is always a little bit iffy. Homestead is a little bit iffy as well. So we need that strong chassis for that one. Engine, we might do the same thing for the engine is put an engine for nine races time once engine number 12 is also built. Um, and so we'll see how all that goes. Uh, that was a very long intro. I want to give a shout out to all the Patreon members as always for supporting the channel. You guys are the absolute best. Sorry for the super, super long intro. Now let's get into it. We are off to New Hampshire. Uh, chassis, it's going to be chassis number 13. Uh, actually, it's going to be chassis number 10, 8279. For the engine, it's going to be engine number 10. Uh, and then for the body, it's going to be engine or body number 11. It is a car rating of 82. Let's see if we can get a win. That's what we're aiming for. I don't think it's possible at New Hampshire, but that's what we're aiming for. Joe Moore and Barney Hall welcoming you to Loudon, home of the New Hampshire International Speedway, for today's New England 300. What can you tell us about Loudon? They did run a restrictor plate here for a couple of races because of the concern about the accelerators getting stuck open going into these flat corners. They no longer need those plates with the addition of the engine kill switch to all the cars. The switch is on the steering wheel and allows the drivers to quickly shut the engine off if they're going into the corner too hard. In 1999, Tony Stewart won the Rookie of the Year Award with one of the finest first seasons in NASCAR history. Three wins, two poles, and a fourth place points finish. That's a tough act to follow for any driver, and I'll bet it'll be a long time before another rookie has a coming out party that big. In 2001, Robbie Gordon got his first career victory in thrilling fashion here in New Hampshire. Well, I guess thrilling is one way to put it. I know Jeff Gordon wasn't too thrilled about it. Robbie got into him pretty hard in turn one, but that's racing, and a guy will do just about anything to get that first win. The 83 car extended his sponsorship contract this week. They've built an incredible relationship with their sponsor so far. In fact, I expect that deal to continue for a long, long time to come. No surprise, Dale Earnhardt Jr. is in third, 75 laps. I'm not going to worry too much about Jr. this race. This race, I'm worrying more about myself because I'm very worried. We, we do not have a good record, to say the least, at New Hampshire. It's a very easy track for contact to happen because the AI can drive it in really deep into the corners. What we need to do is use the apron to make passes. That's going to be the mouse is in the way. There we go. Uh, to use the apron to get to get to make passes, I, I, I kind of like this. Just kind of run down here, don't get loose on entry, and just stay on the bottom of the track basically all the time. We're already in 35th, and I don't even know how I passed like seven cars. Look, they're three wide all in front of us. Oh boy, getting a little bit loose into the corner there. See, that's that's the, the, the worry is, is how loose we get into the corners when we're trying to, you know, match these guys with their entries. Uh, I'm going to just back up here. There we go. That's what I want to do. I want to enter the corner just like that. Now we just run the apron all the way through, and we just slide right up. We're in the top 30, and I've made no contact with anybody. That's exactly what I want to do. They're going to be able to drive it in deeper than me, but as long as we can just, there we go, just do that, and then keep an eye out on the right side. There's Labani, and we're just going to go into 26. All right. I like the way the car feels, too. I'm liking this. Hopefully the tire wear, you know, stays with me. That's what I'm hoping as well. If I start getting loose on entry, it's over. Three wide with Jeremy Mayfield. Still trying to get a little bit of a run. And now Mayfield's running the bottom lane. And we're going to just, okay, slide right up. We're in 21st. Not too worried about it. I don't want to actually enter on the high side. I'm going to back out of that. There we go. Get back to the bottom. And Mayfield is blocking a lot. Look at him. He's trying to block again. He somehow got a run coming off the corner. Let's go back into one and two i really wish i could drive it in deeper but i can't there we go that guy just pick up the throttle in the middle of the corner and we get the pass into the top 20. it's getting a little bit tougher and tougher to to, to make some passes i had to work on mayfield for a solid two three laps but 
We're okay. I, I don't think we have race winning speed. I'm, I'm still pretty sure on that. I, it, this does not feel like race winning speed, but a solid top 10, I think we can do. I just can't make mistakes, which is going to be very difficult. Now, that was my first lap, basically, with no one around me, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually able to arc the corner. I just ran my best lap of the race, uh, and we gained a tenth on the leader. I was 5.8 seconds behind, now I'm 5.7. So that's good news. If I'm in clean track, I can I can really, you know, l l get this angle into the corner, kind of like everyone else, and really just let it sail into the corner, and that's nice. I did mess up one and two a little bit, so I don't think this is going to be that good of a lap, but I just wanted to see 5.7, 5.8, so I lost a tenth there. But, you know, it's very similar speed. The only problem is now I'm going to have to pass these guys and start really changing it up again. I think... The exit of two is where I can definitely make up a lot of time. We're obviously not going to enter on the high side. We're going to back out of that. And just try to set this up. we got to get right there on exit. But I don't, I don't carry the same speed coming off of turn four as I do in, in turn two. Keep Robbie Gordon high. I didn't get the right entry there. But I might be able to pick up the throttle soon enough and make the pass. We do. So if I could just pick up the throttle quick enough in one and two, that's where I can make my passes. We're in a 17th. I'll gladly accept the top five today. There's a blown engine. There's a blown engine right in front of us. I got to be careful with a checkup. A possibility of a checkup right here. Kurt Busch has blown an engine. And it looks like everyone's going to get around him, right? There he goes. He's going to start slowing down. Kurt Busch is out of this race. Okay. So that's up to P16. Let's check on where Dale Jr. is. He's in second place. That's obviously not ideal. Um, I'm, I'm expecting to lose points to him today. I am expecting that. I just It's just damage limitation. And don't lose too many points. Uh, try to get a top 10 and maybe even lead a lap possibly. Don't do that again. Oh boy. Just clear him. Just clear him. Just clear him. There we go. We're clear. Oh, he's back on the outside. Okay. That's fine because we're just going to pick up a throttle and get back around him. Into the top 15 after 14 laps. That's solid. I just need. I also need a short pit. That's something I'm. I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to short pit. Johnny Benson is blocking for his life. So this is gonna be a very difficult pass. I'm gonna have to figure out a way. I tried sending it in there in the middle of the corner. That didn't work. I mean, he anywhere I go, he's going to block. Watch what he does in three and four. If I run all the way down. So here we go. Watch him just come straight down the track. Look at him. He's just. He's trying to. Oh, there we go. We got underneath him. And, oh, there's contact! Whoa! That was between, I think, Steve Park and, and Kenseth. No, that was Harvick. That was Harvick's uh, alternate paint scheme. It's the, the blue paint scheme. So, Harvick and Kenseth, uh, and that gets us three spots. Three spots right there because of that. So, thank you guys for making contact. We move on. Our right front tire is yellow. Uh, let's check our distance to the leader this time by... Last time I checked, it was 5.8, uh, but that was multiple laps ago. It is still 5.8, so it hasn't changed at all. So I guess still that is good news. We're not catching them, but we're not losing time, which is good. So I can probably gain on everyone else. The car is still good 18 laps into the run. We will probably short pit unless we can maybe do this race in one stop, which I don't think we can. Check. Yeah, no, we definitely cannot make this race on one stop, so we're not going to do that. Um, we will two-stop this race. It's just about if you could short pit, get those fresh tires. I mean, we can make up a lot of time. Can I clear Jimmy before I enter the corner? Nope. Just got to back out of that. Just don't want to take unnecessary risks. If I sent that into turn three, I would have probably ended up wrecking. Jimmy's going to block. He's taking those lines like he's already ready to block me. So we're going to have to just set this up. Try to carry speed through the middle of the corner. I did not get a good entry there. I try. I tried avoiding his block, and maybe pass him down the straight. That didn't work. So we go back to the inside. Ooh. Did he lose control or something? No. Yeah. He. he I don't know. He. Something happened to him. There we go. And we make the pass. Okay. P11. So 5.7 to the leader. Rusty Wallace is up next. This is for that sponsorship obligation. But I mean, to be fair, we will finish in front of him. I'm not really worried about that. Let's get the run. Let's try to set him up to go enter the corner a little bit like he doesn't want to. I just got to make sure we enter the corner right. That was a perfect entry, especially with that, that opposite angle. And clear into the top 10. This has been a perfect race so far. Don't have race winning speed, 
But, I mean, we have no damage on the car. Not on the front, not on the right, not on the rear, nothing. Just just some worn tires right now. So this is a really, really good start. And we're going to get Ricky right as well. Let's get him. There we go. Into P9. Whew. Okay, when will we pit? Uh, 25, 50, 75 is the ideal two-stop strategy if you want it. 25 might come a little bit too early. Remember, this is a track where cautions can come out under green flag stops so that's also a little bit of a worry but i don't know i feel like the only way we get close to junior is we got a short pit i mean i don't think we're gonna make up that time solely on track so it's kind of like the necessary risk you have to take i'm not gonna pit on 25 i'm gonna go just a little bit longer pit stops haven't even started yet but it's gonna be like on a lap by lap basis we're making up time 5.1 seconds a little bit of a slide there on entry. Pick up the throttle again. I mean, we are making up time. But I, I do want to... Oop, straight the wall. Oh, some of the leaders are pitting. Some of the... Okay, yeah, then I have, I have to come down. I have to come down. If they're pitting this time by, I got to. Uh, I think Junior's pitting. Junior is pitting. We got to come down. We got to be aggressive, too. There we go. I made up a little bit of time there. Okay, so we're going to keep everything as is. I don't think I'm going to get stopped here as long as they move go 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 there you go there goes Jarrett please Burton don't hold me up a little bit of a hold up just a tiny bit but it's I mean very very minimal we're good come on come on come on go 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 I'm, I'm happy I'm on the same same lap as junior because even if, if a caution comes out and we get screwed I don't want I don't want a junior to be a lap ahead so D Jarrett goes Junior goes, Burton goes, we're good, we're good, go, 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 go. That's Dale Earnhardt Jr. right there. You can see him. Well, now, he's, now you can't, but we can kind of see him, and we just need to go get him. There he is, all the way down there, that little red dot down there entering turn three. I have to run him down. That's the guy we got to run down. Let's go. Jeff Burton is being a gentleman. He did not block me at all. He's running the high line, and that's going to help us clear him. Uh, once we get into one and two, we will make the pass. Junior's right there. We're making up time. You can see him. He's on the left side of the screen, exiting turn two. And we are catching. So that is good. And the leaders, like, we're still in P12. There are still cars that have stayed out. So we're making up time on them as well. Junior's probably going to be the leader. Oh, no, Jarrett will be. Dale Jarrett will be the leader. Because um, he, he's ahead of Dale, Dale Jr. So Junior is going to be second. Mark Martin, who I think was the current leader, he stayed out way too long. So I, don't, I think he's going to get, oh boy. Oh boy, those Gibbs cars were coming out of pit road. They looked like they were about to merge onto the track right away. That was a little bit scary. But we passed the Gibbs cars. There's Gordon as well, who was also in that front pack that we haven't seen for a while. He's now uh, someone we can compete with. The only thing is he has about five lap fresher tires. So that's going to be a little bit difficult. We're looking at Junior. I think he's trying to pass Dale Jarrett at the current moment for the virtual lead. Is that Jarrett? No, that's not. Dale Jarrett's still very far ahead of him, so that's still good. All right, let's catch that red car. Come on. I'm not having a fun time battling Sterling Marlin right now. Get out of my way. I passed him in a three, and then he pulled a crossover move and passed me back. And I'm just trying to focus and get around him. I'm just losing time the more I run behind him. Get underneath right there. I, I'm just going to keep my foot in it. There we go. Clear. And then block on entry. Don't let him get even to the right side of me. Just block it, block it, block it, block it. Junior got held up a lot there by a fantasy car. He got held up a lot. And now Gordon's running him down. Remember, Gordon's on five lap pressure tires. So hopefully Gordon can get around him. Junior's cur currently running in third. We are in uh, fifth. I think Mark Martin is second. And Dale Jarrett is the lead, right? Yes. All right, Dale Jarrett's in the lead. Mark Martin is in second. We have to get around this fantasy car. Who are you? Travis Weston. I don't even know you're going to... Get, get out of here. All right. Oh, no, he's going to block me. He's going to block me. Yep, he's going to block me. Okay. Well, he blocked Junior. He has to block me, I guess. Okay. Patience. 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 Just wait on it. There we go. Right there. Boom. Try blocking me again, you fraud. Get out of here. You're not even real. And to be fair, none of these guys are real. Literally. Only me. But even me in game version is not real. It's all virtual. But still. All right. Back to focus. Back to focus. Come on. All right. Focus, focus, focus. Dale Jr. Come here. Good job, Gordon. Let's go. Passes Jr. We are right here. Ah, oh, we're going to get him. I thought I would lose points to Dale, but I think we might gain points to Dale today. Uh, my right front tire is worn. Yeah, I've been pushing it pretty hard. 
but I know that we're going to pit around lap 50, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, let's just keep pushing. Only 10 more laps on this set of tires. Come on. Let's go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Control it on entry. Control it on entry. Oh, boy. We're still five seconds behind uh, the leader, Jared. I don't think we're going to catch Dale Jared at any point this race. But as long as I could get around Junior, here we go. It doesn't look like he's blocking. We absolutely sent it. And we are clear. Yes, we are. We're clear. Goodbye, Dale and her Jr. into P4. Now we have lap cars to deal with. And Gordon, who's on five lap pressure tires. Got blocked Jr. right there. All right, now we get back down. Get back down. Get back down. I hate you. I actually hate you. Why are you blocking there, you absolute fraudulent piece of target trash? I cannot understand you at all. We are in the calm part of the race now, just focusing on lap time. We're 4.2 seconds behind Dale Jarrett. Uh, we're about two seconds behind Mark Martin, so that's something I want to catch as well. We got to keep Gordon in our sights because he's going to pit late. Like, he, he's... When we get fresh tires, we're going to be on fresh tires for about seven, eight, nine laps longer than than Gordon. So I just got to keep him in distance and, and, and then I'll pass him via the green flag stops. So that's all we're doing with Gordon at the moment. Jared is starting to struggle. We're, we're starting to catch him just a little bit. I'm not struggling yet. I'm just keep going. Just, you know, just get the entry uh, coming up off or get the exit off the corner right. Don't hit the wall. Junior's still back there in fifth, so we're only we're not really gaining any. Oh, 3.9 seconds. So it's under four seconds for the first time this race to Dale Jarrett. And we're going to time this pretty well because we're going to be coming down pit road kind of before we enter all this lap traffic. There's a lot of lap traffic right in front of there, as you can see. We're not going to really hit that. We're going to pit right before we get to the, to the major part of that. So... I think Dale Jarrett got held. No, he's not in the leader anymore, is he? No, he still is. 3.6 seconds to Dale Jarrett. So we just keep moving along. Come on. That was not a very good middle of the corner, but I still picked it up. Labani's on fresh tires behind us. Lap 49. It's either lap 50 or 51. That's when we're pitting. I just haven't really decided yet. 3.4 seconds. We're gaining so much time on Dale Jarrett. Uh, let's just keep pushing along. Oh, boy. Almost hit the wall there. Okay, get around this guy. Is Jarrett pitting this time by? I don't hear anything. I'm going to go one more lap, and uh, I'm going to pit on lap 51. So we will pit on lap 51, just in case, you know, if a caution comes out, well, no one's going to pit, so you want to be on uh, not too old tires. So short pit without taking too much of a short pit. Uh, they are right there. That is Dale Jarrett. Am I crazy? Dale Jarrett's literally right there. He's not that far ahead. Oh my god. All right, we're putting this time by. Books, books, loose. Books, books, books. Look, they're right there. They are right there. All right, we're pitting. Let's go. And 70 miles per hour. Beautiful scenes. Okay. This is a perfect opportunity to get the lead. Pit crew, I am desperate. Give me a sub 16 second stop. I don't need 16.1. I need 15.5. Please, give it to me. Come on, sub 8. Yes. Yes, it's sub 8. Come on. Come on, please, please, pick crew. I'm actually going to love you. Oh, my God, I love you. 15.5. Round of applause. Round of applause for the pit crew. When you needed them most, they delivered. Oh, I actually love them. I love them dearly. We move, we move, we move. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't let Rusty Wallace get in front of us because we have clean track. We have clean track. I'm trying to get the car to turn. Oh, boy. All right, we're good. Oh, clean track. Look at that. We found the one little gap with clean track. Oh, it's a perfect strategy call from the crew chief. It's absolutely perfect. It has set us up to win this race. Dale Jarrett is in pit road. There he is. There he is. So we're only going to have one lap with our fresh tires. But on Gordon, on Mark Martin, on Dale and her junior, we got to just pull everything we can out of these next few laps to get everything we can. Let's keep an eye out for Dale Jarrett. Coming down, uh, probably on pit exit. Let's keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. I had one lap with those fresh tires. Let's see where we are compared to Dale Jarrett. He's coming out of pit lane right now. You see him. There he is. Can we overtake him? That's close. That's very close. Can we get him? Ooh, I'm going for it. Yeah. We got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. Oh, boy. Don't wreck. Don't wreck. Don't wreck. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Pass all those guys. Pass all those guys. 
Beautiful scenes. And Jared stuck behind all this traffic. Let's go! Oh my lord. Why is Dale and her junior there? Nice work. Is Junior on the lead? No, no. Wait. That's Junior. He, he's not on first tires. Dale Jr.'s not on first tires. And we can see him. Let's go. Oh my god. Look at this. He's on old tires and he still hasn't come down pit road. Look at all the time we're gaining. We are in the virtual lead at the moment. I can't believe it. We might actually win this race. Get the heck out of my way, Dale and her Jr. No, get out of here. I'm not showing you any mercy. Oh, it's a beautiful double pass. Oh, I'm in the rhythm now. 20 laps to go. Why are you blocking? Why? What's the... Why? What? That's so unnecessary. Mark Martin is going to pit. He's the leader right now, but he's stayed out way too long. And so he's going to come down. Why are you still blocking? Oh, God. Oh! That was very risky. That was very risky. But I got it done. All righty. So this is going to put us in the lead. Dale and Hart Jr. pitted that last time. I don't even see him. I don't even see him and Gordon. I don't see. So we don't got to worry about them. We only got to worry about Dale Jarrett. He's the only guy that can really beat us. He's in the mirror. You can see him. But we're on the same tires. Basically, he's only had one lap fresher tires. It's not enough to make a huge difference. So we just need to get around this lap traffic as quickly as we can. Craven's in the wall. I'm going to go around the outside here. But I got to be very careful with the entry. Very, yeah, yeah, just back out of that. Just back out of that. There we go. And then cut it all the way down. And that's how you make the passes. Beautiful scenes. Oh, my lord. We are in an absolute rhythm right now. Oh, I'm on fire. I want that championship. I want it bad. Matt Kenseth has stayed out. He is the current leader. Okay. All right. <laughs> you better pit soon, Kenseth. I need my five bonus points to lead, you know, a lap so and, and win. So you better pit soon. Matt Kenseth has pitted, and with 13 laps to go, we have the lead of the race. I was not thinking this was possible, but it's been a perfect race. Like, we've been perfect. Now, we only need to do uh, 12 and a half more laps and just bring this thing home. Jarrett is still, he's close. He's not, you know, he's about two seconds behind, but we have the car to do this. 2.2 seconds behind of Jarrett. Uh, Dale, J Dale and her junior is not even in the top five. He's not in the top five. So this is just, I mean, I, I, this is one, this was one of the tracks I genuinely thought we would lose points and we are actually in position to gain the, a, a lot of points more than what we gained at, you know, uh, last race at, at, uh, Chicagoland. So it, this is, this is amazing. Just don't lose focus. Don't lose focus. 11 laps to go right here. 2.5 seconds back to Jarrett. Just don't overdrive the corners. Don't take any risks trying to lap other guys and just let's win this race. Last lap car to deal with blocking. Just get through that. That was a, like a three lap journey trying to get around Michael Waltrip, but we got it done. And now we're coming to, what is it, three to go? Yep. Three laps to go. 3.9 seconds to Dale Jarrett. Again, Dale Earnhardt Jr. is not in the top five, so we're just going to keep carrying on. It's The job is 98% done. Oh, and Dale Jr. cracked the top five. Damn it. <laughs> On the white flag lap, he ended up in fifth. All right. So we're going to get, a, you know, like, what, 20 points? Somewhere around there. That's what we're going to get on him. And I'll, I'll take that. I'll get down to, like, 170 it will be the difference. And that's a, that's a bonus because I wasn't expecting to win this race. But that was one of our best performances ever at a track in a moment where we needed it. We win at New Hampshire, out of all places. Jarrett's in second, Gordon's in third, Martin's in fourth, and Junior comes home in fifth. No, no celebrating. No celebrating. I don't, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to. Nope. No. We don't celebrate, guys. We have a championship to win. I can celebrate when we win the championship. So, see that secondary uh, income, the per race income? That's why we chose it. Because you know that you're not going to get the bonus but you will get the um, the income. So you got $223,000 even though you didn't qualify first. It, it didn't happen. So um, that's where that money comes in from. We now have $3.19 million in the bank, uh, which is nice, and we move on. Standings, fourth, exactly as I thought. We got 20 points on the dot. 172 behind Dale Jr. We head to Pocono next, where we won the first Pocono race. So hopefully we can win this run, th this one as well. Take care of yourselves. I will see you guys tomorrow. Make sure you like and subscribe. F uh, comment down below. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you know already. Thank you guys, as, al as always, for watching. Uh, it's time to watch the World Cup. Game is about to start. Take care of yourselves.
Peace out.